Okay, how many times have you done this? You open up the fridge, you just stand in front of it going, what am I going to eat in here? Well, instead of ordering takeout, our pal nutritionist Joy Bauer says, just get a little creative. I love this. So we ask you to send us photos of the contents in your refrigerator. Joy chose two of them, whipping up a couple of healthy, tasty recipes, and this is phenomenal. At first, I, I thought you broke into people's houses. <laughs> right. yeah. Because like, you, you know that I would do, would that. do that. The food cat burglar. This is cool. This right. is something I have done, actually. So right. I, I love this segment, too, because like you said, people are always opening up yeah. the fridge and saying, there's nothing in here, but there is something in every yeah. single refrigerator. Let's look at okay. Beverly Whittington from St. Louis, Missouri, her fridge. Put Bev's fridge. There it was. A nice looking group of things. Yeah, There's a lot of neat. stuff in there. Yeah, so is. I was immediately drawn to the eggs. Mm -hmm. I could eat eggs for breakfast, yeah. for lunch, oh, and yeah. for dinner. And there's so many different things that you could make with them. Sure. So first I took some vegetables. Mm -hmm. She had a red pepper. Red pepper is busting with vitamin C. And I think mm -hmm. getting into flu season right now, mm -hmm. it's a perfect vegetable. And a great color. Yes. Yeah, it and I coupled color. it with some onion, which she had in that mm -hmm. drawer. And of course, two large handfuls of spinach. Spinach is like nature's multivitamin. Mm -hmm. It's got everything. Nice. Plus, it has two antioxidants that help reduce the risk for macular degeneration and cataracts. Oh. I sautéed them for about 8 to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I actually threw the spinach in at the very end. In for healthiness, so you just use olive oil. Oil spray. Okay. Oh, I oh. love oil spray because okay. it allows you to um, saturate the pan with very, very few fat calories. Okay. But you certainly you could, you know, pour any other oil in there. I like olive oil, like canola oil, grapeseed oil. For the eggs, I took four whole eggs, mm -hmm. and then I took four egg whites, and oh. I added half a cup of milk, all mm -hmm. which she had in her fridge. And the reason I halved the whole eggs and the egg whites is because it allowed me to reduce the calories and the saturated fat. Mm -hmm. Now, Al, you could put those vegetables right in here. No, Tamron, why don't yes, you throw in, this is sharp cheddar cheese oh. that she had in so there. You, you do let us have stuff we like. Yes! Jeez, I love yes. that. That's so good. Oh, Because I you're not eating that much. Yeah. This is the best part about her fridge. She grows her own fresh herbs. Beverly. So this is parsley, basil, and rosemary. Mm -hmm. We put that right in here. Okay. A little bit of salt and pepper, and then all you do is Alex, little yeah. spray. a little oil spray, right. and then you fill up this about a half a cup idea. in the muffin tins. You're going to put it on 350 degrees in the oven mm -hmm. for just about 20 to 25 minutes. Right. And would you look at these beauties? Those are great. How's about 65 calories That's each? Fantastic. Yes. I love how portable You can have three you or four for a serving. I make right. a couple of these for Leela to take to school because I'm always after her about getting protein. Yeah. Good. And they're packed with protein. Right. And you can eat them in the car. Mm. Next photo we have is Maria Healy from Chula Vista, California. And let's take look a look at, at some of this. She's got pork tenderloin, peanut butter, chicken broth, soy sauce. That's a good looking fridge. And there's it some is. hot sauce in there as well. Oh. I saw pork tenderloin and I thought, okay, that is going to play a starring role together with the peanut butter as well. So the first thing that I did was I sliced up the pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. I um, soaked in water my wooden skewers mm -hmm. and five minutes on each side, again, on the skillet, on a grill, and you have pork skewers. Now comes the peanut butter sauce. So I've I never heard of peanut butter sauce. Well, it's kind of like, like a pet, like a Thai yeah. kind of saute. Yeah. So it's half a cup of creamy peanut butter, mm -hmm. quarter cup of broth, quarter cup of, there you go, a little bit of water. This mm -hmm. is water. Whoops. Yep. Whoops. Okay. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. If you want a little bit of hot sauce, I put it in there. Sure, why not? And I then love all you that. do is you mix and mix and mix, and you're going to get this creamy, oh, dreamy oh. sauce. You're going to go ahead and dip that in there. It's very kid friendly mm -hmm. as yep. well. And how's mm. about a full serving yeah. of this is only 170 wow. calories, mm -hmm. 25 grams of filling protein. And by the well, way, I'm that gonna... saves room for, for a birthday cake. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Smoking. Is that legal? That's right. I can't Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. lady. Oh. Oh, there see? You go. You. When you eat healthy, there's always room for cake. Oh. I love you. I had no idea. You didn't see the flaming cake over there? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I was fixated on the refrigerator. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm going to make a big wish. We love you so much, and you can find Joy's recipe today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.